Today we're going to look at how to cut the jumper in the pants form. Okay, I've done a sketch. That's what the jumper looks like there. And over here, I've outlined the diagram. Now what we're actually doing is the top of your blouse attached to your pants, okay? So your A, B, and C is going to be quarter of the measurement plus the back four point plus three centimeters. And your A, C, and B, D is the back blouse length plus the length of the pants and hemline. The front is similar, but you're going to be using the front four point when you're folding for the front. So once we do the back, you'll be able to do the front. The, remember that the back four point is one eighth of the hip measurement, and the front four point is one sixteenth of the hip measurement. Okay, you can look at the video on the shorts, the question of the shorts, or the question of the pants, if you forget how to do that part of it. All right, so what I have done here now is that I have put in the G line, which is going to be the line that takes care of the four point area, and I've put in all of the construction lines. Remember, your cross back, is 15 centimeters down from your AB line. Your bust line is the next line, which is 26 centimeters down from the AB line. The waist line, you use your length blouse back. The length blouse back. Without any addition for the waist. Then from the waist, you're going to come down for the hip line. Remember now the hip line is 18 centimeters or 20 centimeters down from the waist, depending on the height of the person. Then the crush depth is taken from the waist as well. So you measure down from the waist for the crush depth. And again, you can look at the video which tells how to measure the crush depth. So you'll be able to get your crush depth here. All right, so all the cross lines are put in first. After that is done, I'm going to take all the measurements for the garment from here, which is line G. So you would start your neckline there, then do your neckline there, and across. Seven, three by seven. Okay. You get your neckline there. Then you're going to do your shoulder. And remember, it's to get K, we come down four centimeters. So you get a K line there. Okay. So that's your shoulder slope. Then we're going to do the cross back and the bust measurement. All right, so you measure those. And you shape the armhole. Remember, that's how the armhole is done. All right, so we shape the armhole there. Then from there, you're going to do your waist. You remember you're coming two and a half from the bust for the waist. You're coming at your waist there. Then from the waist, you're going to come out. Remember to soften this point. Come out to your hip. Remember, you can vary the hemline. Alright, so let's 
look at it again. Put your construction lines in half after you have your measurements. You have the measurements over here. Use them to give you the outline A, B, C, D. Put your cross back line in, 15 down, centimeters down. Your bust line, 26 centimeters down. Then you use your length blouse back for the waist. The hip line comes from the waist. So you measure the hip line from the waist. 18 centimeters or 20 centimeters down. Then your cross line will also come from the waist. Because remember you sit on the chair and then you measure from your waist to where the bottom touches the chair and your two centimeters. After those lines are put in, you're going to do the regular information for your blouse and for the skirt, so yeah, for, the, for the pants, right? So it's your neckline, your shoulder slopes, you get half your shoulder there, and then you do your cross back line. You have to measure both because when you see it, your shape of the side. Come in for the hemline here. And this can vary depending on how you want it. Now, after this is done, if you're going to do the zipper at the back, then it's of one and a half here, you would have had to put four centimeters for the zip, right? This four and a half shows button front. So when you're doing the front, you would leave the allowance for the button to be added, the button holes, the lap over for the button holes and the button. Now the arm, remember your front fork point is half of the back. So you will have a shorter fork point for the front. That's the only difference. You'll put your lines in similarly and then you use a front fork point for here. So your G would have been a little less, half of the back. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit me on my page at my YouTube page at Bill's Sewing Studio and contact me, One Baptist Road, Man of Baptist Skill Center. 876-787-7241. Enjoy your story.